Cole's new voice. It's been a big change for Ninjago implemented this year following the very unfortunate loss of Kirby Morrow back in 2020 and I've put off discussing my overall thoughts on the new voice simply because I didn't want to rush into things too soon. However, I feel as though this is finally a good time to give my thoughts on this change. So without further ado, let's get straight into this thing. So, let me just start off this video by saying that nobody, in my opinion, will ever be able to replace Kirby Morrow as Cole. That is what we are all going to remember Cole as mainly. No disrespect to Andrew. Francis, but yeah, he is still doing a really great job, of course. And I feel as though, honestly, after the core shorts and the first 12 episodes of Crystallized, I can safely say that I do feel as though he was the best person to do the job of voice acting Cole following the death of Kirby. And yeah, I feel as though they definitely did the right thing, and that is definitely showing with these new episodes especially. I would also describe this new change as almost kind of subtle, because while at the same time it is kind of obvious to see that Cole's voice has definitely changed, and Andrew Francis 100% has his own style when it comes to voice acting, I feel as though at the same time he does this really good job of replicating the old Cole, if you want to call it that, and it's done in such a way that's almost so subtle, and I feel as though that's also an effect of them using the same kind of grunt effects as Cole in a few scenes, that kind of helps to, uh, well, help balance things out between the two actors, and that also gives another kind of feel of subtlety to everything. It makes this new change feel a little bit more natural, I guess you could say, and just a bit more welcoming, and I feel as though it does work really, really well, and I'm a fan of how subtle it is, and while at the same time still being its own thing entirely, if that makes any sense to you guys, it's kind of hard to explain, but I hope you guys do understand where I'm coming from with that. Now, if I had to have one complaint regarding this voice, uh, I would say that in some scenes it almost feels a little bit much like Morrow. And in, yeah, in case you guys didn't know, Andrew Francis did also do the voice for Morrow back in season 5, which is obviously why I'm bringing this up. I feel as though sometimes it does feel a little bit too much like Morrow, especially if you are not actually watching the screen and you're just kind of listening in the background. You could definitely just mistake it for Morrow straight up because of that. So maybe that is something they could try and work on, but it's not really a huge issue, I'd say. I feel as though it's just kind of expected considering he is the same same person that did the voice acting for Morrow, so it's not really a complaint as much as it's just something to point out, and I'm com I completely understand if that's really not something that's able to be worked on, it's nothing that huge, and I still do feel as though the new voice actor is really, really good and is doing the best job uh, possible, really, for this task. Yeah, for that to be one downside, you know, it's not really that big of a deal, and I'm still happy overall with how this new voice actor is actually doing with Cole, and I feel as though it fits Cole's character really, really well. And those are basically my thoughts. Sorry if I couldn't quite get the points across in the way I wanted to. It's kind of hard to really give my thoughts on this in the proper way without it coming off as really kind of con just confusing. But yeah, I think I did do my best and I hope you guys do see where I'm coming from with this. I feel as though Andrew Francis is doing a fantastic job. And while, as I keep saying, there was just that one slight... Very, very, very minor issue with, in some scenes, he sounds a bit too like, much like Morrow. I feel as though, regardless, he's doing a great job, and, and this definitely was the right decision for the show creators to go with. I feel as though Andrew, Andrew Francis was the perfect guy for this job, and I completely respect him for that. He's doing a fantastic job. And yeah, that's basically it. With all of this being said, feel free to drop your thoughts down below on Cole's new voice. I would love to hear your thoughts regarding this. As usual, if you did enjoy today's video and found it interesting, feel free to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel for more just like this, plus a whole lot more, and hit that notification bell so you guys can be the first to keep up to date on all of the latest Ninjago news here on the channel. With all of this being said, I will see you all in my next video coming out very, very soon. Goodbye.